record. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Before I start, always use a checklist. If you don't use a checklist, you're doing it wrong. So, went out of the way. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Slewinski. I'm the CEO and founder of Nosby and a productivity geek. And you are? Hi, I'm Rafał Sobolewski. I'm VP product in Nosby. Hi. Hey. Exactly. So, uh, Rafał, uh, good to have you here um, because today we want to not only talk about the product, but talk about thinking behind the product. So, um, Nosby Teams, our new product for teams, how to, that helps great small teams do great things, uh, has been conceived because we believe, strongly believe in task-based communication. And what it is, how it works, and why it's superior to email-based communications, chat-based communication, uh, post-it notes-based communication, punching somebody-based communication. Um, let's talk about that. F face communication, yeah. Face-to-face. Face-to-face. So, um, when I think about task-based communication, uh, two things uh, come, to, come to my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are two properties of this type of communication. It's first, it's asynchronous. So what does it mean? Well, <laughs> it means that uh, if I communicate with you in asynchronous way, I don't expect uh, that you answer me right away. And this is, uh, well, we'll dive into this yeah. more today over this live. So, so please stay tuned. Um, also, if you, if you have questions, write, write them uh, write them here. Um, so um, this is uh, contrary to usual habit of working in an office where I'm coming coming up to you, not punching you, but you know, like nudging you there and saying, "My Rafael, I have this idea. What do you think about it?" And then you, I tell you the idea, and I expect you to come up with a brilliant insight that will help me make this idea better. Or, or I expect you. Uh, I expect of you uh, great feedback. Like just you know. Yeah, yeah. Because my brain is always on one hundred percent creativity level. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So asynchronous communication means I have this brilliant idea. I write it up. I somehow give it to you, and yeah. then you, in your time, when you have the time, you look at it, you give it a thought or two or three, and then you reply to me with yeah. your... With meaningful feedback. Meaningful feedback, exactly. Yeah. So, so one, of, one of good things about email, when we are talking about email is bad, but let's, like, we'll get to why email is bad for, for working in, inside a team. But one of the good things of email is that it, it is asynchronous by default. So, yeah. so you send me an email and you expect me to write back, but you know, like, you know, in my time when I'm gonna process this email, right? Which in my case might be two weeks. But you know, uh, usually I, I reply to an email like at some point. Some people confuse this and expect an immediate response to an email, which is not the correct way. But anyway, this is asynchronous. You, you write an email, you send it email, uh, you send the email and you reply uh, back, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. So that's the one thing about email that is cool. But on the other hand, uh, in email is not very easy accessible to other um, other members of the team. If I write to you, and with a result of our discussion, discussion, we uh, we come up to idea that we need uh, someone else feedback. Now I need to forward this email. Uh, and attach something and it's 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 the whole mess yeah or you do what all people do when they use email yeah. you just cc and bcc everyone on the team yeah and that way uh we we just uh, spam everyone in a team with exactly uh, with uh, mo most of the cases unrelevant stuff for their work yeah and the best part is that if these people are good productivity geeks what they have is they have an email filter filtering out all the emails where they are CC'd or BCC'd and they just move it to a different folder, like never do read, right? Yeah. So you think that you have CC'd them, so they have read this thing when they actually have ignored it because they thought it's not for them, right? right. So, so this, that, 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 that's the problem with email. With chat, the problem is that the communication is synchronous. Like there is this fear of missing out, this FOMO that, you know, you write a chat message to me, 
and then you expect me to reply right away because it's a chat, right? So yeah. it's, it's not much different than just talking to me. Yeah, and secondly, it's, um, it's mixed up with, with other stuff that happens on a chat because sometimes you post you post on a, you can post on a chat a very important message but it it will it will be lost with with all the uh, all the memes keeps or gifs <laughs> yeah and, and so it's the same on, yeah. thing with email like if we use email to collaborate internally then this email is mixed with email from people from the outside it's if with newsletters with like everything it's just yeah. mixed with everything right but of course no rafael we are humans, we are brilliant. We have this brilliant thing that we can really distill and we can you know, filter it like with our, uh, uh, and you, are not, you will not be tempted to open this newsletter thing, although you were supposed to open the other email with the task for you, right? Yeah, so, with a subtitle, yeah? Exactly, it's like, it's the same thing, you know? Like, of course, it, I'm sure it ha never happens to anyone, just me, I am this flawed because I have this problem that sometimes I, op I take my phone out to do one thing, but because there is a notification and there is this app or whatever, I end up doing something completely different. And then I forget, why did I pull out the phone in the first place? Yeah. So this is, the, so this is what happens. That's why like, the first thing we say, we argue that you should do is you should separate internal communication from external communication. So internal team communication should be in a completely different way, in a different place than the external communication. And we argue that the internal communication shouldn't be a different email address. Yeah. <laughs> because we believe in task-based communication. And, and can you explain like, basically what it means? Well, uh, it means that we use a tool uh, that, that has uh, projects and tasks and we communicate in this tool uh, based on the context, what is what has to be done. Exactly. So like we use Nosby Teams, our app that we developed. So the, the good thing is that our customers are using an app that we have already tested and we have suffered through if there is a, like, we use our own tool to build our tool. But the cool thing is that we separate, we have this, this very nice structure, which I really like. Projects, tasks. So there are projects, in these projects you have tasks, in these tasks you have comments. Yeah. So it's a clear structure, you know, of information. And I like order and I like things, you know, in a, um, uh, ordered nicely. And the cool thing about it is that uh, when you go um, to, um, uh, uh, to a task and you comment on this task, the communication about this task is, is in these comments. Yeah. And this is, you know, like, like you just talk about this task, right? Yeah, so there is uh, there is the thing you need to do a task, and all the relevant uh, reference material, all the feedback uh, you you will ask or your teammates will be in this task. So so that's that's contextual. Plus, if you need, uh, you, you can link someone to to this task with with email. You cannot say, oh, it was in this thread. Uh, oh, you weren't on CC. So. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Or, or it was, it was. I posted on Slack two days ago on on this channel. Uh, let let me search for you. <laughs> you start searching. Yeah, but at, at least on Slack you can you can link too. Yeah. <laughs> then you can. Then then I quote uh, uh, from my favorite movie, Taken. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, and, and of course we can have a meaningful uh, conversation uh, on on a chat. Uh, yeah. About about one task and and then. Uh, we just copy the link to to this thread, yes, uh, or the or the place in in the chat when where where it happened, and paste it into into the proper Nosby task in a comment. Yeah. So so again, we we're, we're back to this you know structure: projects, tasks, and comments. And the cool thing, as we mentioned, is that the fact that the comment relates to this task. So if you have any other comment to any other task, you do it there. You don't. Um, just write long email with you know several things to do or several yeah. issues to deal with because this like this is a mess again, and uh, and now a, a short difference between Nosby and Nosby Nosby Personal and Nosby Teams is the fact that in Nosby Personal, uh, uh, all our life of Nosby Personal it was really personal. So you create an, a Nosby account and you create a project and you can share you can choose to share this project with somebody, but until you do this project is not visible to them. 
Yeah. In Nosby Teams, you create a team. And by default, every project you create is visible to everyone, right? So, yeah. um, of course, you can limit how many people visit, uh, can, can have access to this project, but by default, it's to everyone on the team. So, this way, it's very easy to create a project, you create tasks, people can then, you know, log into their Nosby account and they can see, oh, there's a new project, I'm going to check what's there, you know, whatever. The cool thing about this is that later people on your team will choose to either follow this project or not. This way, they can choose to have activity of this project, you know, be uh, uh, sent to them, you know, be, they will be notified about it or not. So this way, again, what we do is we not only give you the structure, but also limit the notifications, yeah. right? Yeah, like we filter the, the information, uh, like you have the access to all the things that may be related to, to your work, Yes. but we filter uh, the most important stuff for, for you. Yeah, and you choose, you actively Yeah, you choose, choose. You, like we, we, we allow we you, you to, filter. to filter, yeah. <laughs> Very good, exactly, so you, and you can choose, you can, you know, you're empowered to decide, you know, what's important to you, what's relevant to you, and what's not relevant to you. And, but the cool thing is that if somebody delegates a task to you in a, in a project that you don't follow, you will still get notified, which is yeah. great. Then, you, you know, you'll know, okay, there's this project, there's this task, okay, I'll see what I can do to help. Right. Yeah, and that's that's very cool, because you al you always have on on in in your uh, incoming section. Yeah, we mm -hmm. also change it for, uh, when you compare it to Nosby Personal. So exactly, because in our, in Nosby Personal, what we did is that when something is due or somebody delegates a task to you, it instantly goes to your priority list, and yeah. it's okay for personal use or for a use with you know somebody with just one person maybe two people but what we realized over the the last few years uh, while building those teams is that for teams that like for for teams bigger than you know just a couple of people it's not nice when somebody puts a priority in your priority list <laughs> directly we realized that there needs, needs to be a step before you have to get it into in, your, in, in a different section and we have incoming section in Nosby teams and then you actively choose again if this is your priority or you want to do it later or you want to do it you know you want to comment or delegate yeah. it back to somebody else you decide what to do and then this way when you prepare your day and put your priorities right you can still follow them nicely and you don't have to worry that somebody just puts their stuff in front of it yeah, it's it's a little paradox, but uh, in Nosby Teams, the priority view is really personal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and Nosby Personal, it, it it was kind of <laughs> only. Yeah, but 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 I I would argue that you know in, for personal use it makes sense. Like this yeah. way you don't have this intermediate step. Like if something is due, you know, it should be your priority right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because True. it's for you, you know. But in Nosby Teams, it's also correct design that if if something is due. It might be important to you. It might be something that you want to deal with, but you decide if you really want to do it or you want to delegate it to somebody else on the team because after all, you're in a team. So, you know, you can choose to, um, you know, empower others to help you. Yeah. Also in this, you know, task-based communication, I like the structure again, you know, I'm going to repeat that, like, you know, <laughs> projects, tasks, and, and comments, because in, in, in this list, when you have opened a project, you see the list of tasks, you also see who's responsible for what or which tasks, for example, don't have responsibility. So yeah. this way, again, it's clear to you, okay, this is this project. I can see that these people are working on these, this, these things in theory. And then, for example, you open a task and you see that there is no, nothing happening in this task. So we can ask in the comments, you know, yeah. uh, hey, uh, Rafa, are you really doing it? Or like, do you have any you know, deadline on this? Or, like, do you need my, and, any help? Or exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, what we try to encourage this way is to really communicate through tasks, to really, you know, to really talk to each other, you know, to really. Yeah, because sometimes it's not clear who, who should do this task because uh, the, there may be some unknowns. Yeah. So we don't know who, who, has, who, who is available and who has the better skills to do it. So we encourage communicate for communication for teams so they can figure it out who should be responsible. Yeah, there is this. Um, so what we want to say here is like uh, by you know now that we have you know pandemic and many people are working from homes, it's a good opportunity to really change habits because you cannot just literally walk 
to somebody to talk to them. Uh, but what you can do is create a task for them and, um, and you know, write, it, write it up in the comment. And this way, they know what they should do. And if they don't, they're going to ask you in the comments. So, so, so it's not only that you, both of you, will get a clear yeah. vision of what needs to be done, but also other people who will open this task will know what's going on here, right? Yeah, and the structure, what I really like is that this is, in task you have comments. They are quite powerful because you can you can have checklist and attachments, but they are still still comments. They are not the full page full page view. So so you must really focus to to really write down the essence. What is, what is the most important in this task? Uh, you know the the, the uh, in in our comments design. So for example, another change that we did between uh, Nosby Personal and Nosby Teams is in Nosby. Uh, teams and uh, the comments go the other way around. So from from uh, the oldest comment to the latest, like it goes yeah. down. In Nosby Personal, it goes up. The most recent comment is go, goes first. And again, it makes sense if you have just two, three comments. You know, it's like if you yeah. work in a small team or just alone. Yeah, because it it makes sense for for personal. So you 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 will see uh, on the top your la your latest comment. Yeah. Exactly. When you go, when you when you work with a team, it's it should be like like a timeline of, of discussion. Yeah, and what what is really important is that you know when you go open a task that you know there there were lots of comments there. This way, it's easier for you to catch up to just you know go scroll, read, 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 scroll, and you get to the latest latest comment and you know what's going on really. Yeah. Again, we try to encourage like meaningful conversation and mean, meaningful contribution. Like if you don't have anything to say, you can just go and react this or this or whatever. But if you have something to say, you can write a comment. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a balance that we have to strike there. Yeah. So, um, and so again, in this way, when you have projects, tasks, comments, what, what happens is that you encourage asynchronous communication because you create a task for somebody, you write up a comment and then you for example delegate this task to this person yeah and you don't, you, you don't have to write to them on on a chat hey i delegated a task to you <laughs> i'll call them because mm -hmm. especially in these times yeah when when we we sit stuck at, at home many of you probably uh, don't have even a, a separate room to work and you have your family uh, in home and it's and probably i, I don't have kids but you have, and you know how hard it is. Oh yeah, to explain to kids that they, they shouldn't bother you in in that that time. <laughs> As we're recording this, this is five p.m., five twenty p.m. Uh, uh, um, here, Central European time. So my kids can literally walk in on me anytime soon. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cute. <laughs> however, <Yeah. laughs> uh, however, as if you are a manager of a team, you need you really. This is the great opportunity for you to to give your employees a trust and just communicate with them asynchronously, well define what what are tasks to do and give give them space room to to really deliver a great work on this because if if you uh, if you organize a lot of meetings, then they will not have time especially in that uh, in current situation in home with family to really have a time to to deep work to focus on the task that needs to be done yeah so um that's the thing so we are trying to also you know just remember that not not try to uh, copy uh, the the same um you know the same uh, uh, habits that you had in the office like you know like you have a big big conference room for 20 people and then you do a 20 people meeting don't cram 20 people on Zoom. It can handle it, but it's gonna be awful. Yeah. Like the, <laughs> it's gonna be really bad, the, 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 the meeting. So, so make sure not to do it. And, um, uh, and, and instead of that, think about it. Who should really attend the meeting if the meeting is needed? First, iron out the details in the tasks, and then only the questionable things, move them to the agenda of the meeting. Um, and for that, actually, we have um, in Nosby Teams, we have this, this, this new feature that uh, you can have sections of projects. So for example, we have this project design where we design Nosby Team, and then we have a section upcoming you know, design yeah. meeting. And then we just move the tasks that we really need to discuss to this section 
to, 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 to communicate to other people on the, on the team that we are going to be discussing these things. Yeah. And even though the meeting is attended by the hateful six, so by the, by the six people who, who are there, the rest of the team can also jump in and add comments and, and, and uh, add you know, feedback to these issues. So this way we have uh, insight from other members of the team. And we don't invite them over because the meeting would be just too big. But this way we can invite them to the conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And even, uh, even last design fight, there was, there was very short because there was one topic to discuss, but uh, not everyone uh, was able to, to really read it, read it and pre be prepared for this. So we move it to the next week. Exactly. So, so we have this discipline that, you know, if we are not prepared for the meeting, we just cancel it. We just, you know, move it. So, so we, uh, and it was true. Like I didn't read it. Re I, I was the one to blame. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read, read what, uh, what the, um, the, the, the document before the design fight. So I wasn't ready. So this way we said, you know, if we're not ready, like I wasn't ready, like somebody else wasn't ready, let's move it to the next meeting. No problem. Yeah. So here uh, we have Brian, um, hi Brian, uh, asking us, how do we use both apps, Nosby Personal and Nosby Teams? Uh, do we use both or separate and, and separate biz and pleasure? <laughs> this is exactly how we're using right now our apps. Um, I have my personal tasks. I have my shopping list right now. Right now, with pandemic, I'm leaving for shopping only once per week. So we have a project in Nosby Personal with my wife, where, um, with my wife and um, our nanny. To, so that we put all the stuff that you know we need to buy for uh, for, for home, and then when I just uh, before going before going so again a pro tip before going shopping I print out the list, so I use our fa famous printing feature of Nosby, and this way with printed out uh, list I go to the shop. This way I don't have to pull up my phone um, when I'm in the in the shop. Uh, so I I have gloves, I have my mask, and I have my list. And I just, you know, uh, uh, check things off, uh, like, like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> with a pen. <laughs> yeah, with a pen, you know. Um, uh, and this way, I do my shopping. And, 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 and the cool thing is that, you know, like this way, the whole week we contribute to this list, to the shopping list. So, so anyway, I use, long story short, I use Notly Personal for my personal stuff and also for sharing a few projects with, you know, with my wife with, uh, um, in this personal space. And then I have Nosby Teams, which I use for our okay, team so, task based communication. So uh, on my side, it's uh, similar, but a little different uh, because uh, I, we still have some projects uh, in our team in Nosby Personal. So mm -hmm. for, for example, support project for, for this, uh, for Nosby Personal. And it's... Uh, it's by the, it's intended because we we still want to use the product uh, mm -hmm. to, to really to maintain it uh, and develop it. Uh, yeah, and also I I have my personal stuff in in those personal plus some couple shared projects with uh, with my friends uh, on my personal projects like like my podcast and so on. Yeah, so. So we use both. And then here, uh, Brennan is also asking about the Slack integration. Uh, Rafael told me not to promise features. Yeah, we ne never, never. Pro uh, I so I'm not <laughs> promising you Slack integration, but it's coming. But I'm not yeah. promising you. <laughs> yeah, like product roadmap is not about deadlines. It's exactly. about so scope I cannot, and <laughs> So I cannot tell you. Problems. No, but, but with, you know, with all honest, honesty, we use Slack. Uh, many people use Slack, and especially in an in a re all remote team, Slack is important as like a water cooler. Like, you know, send gifts to each other. Like, it's just, you know, just, you know, just to be connected. So, yes, so we will have a Slack integration because we want very often, the problem is, we want very often we get to a discussion on Slack about something and we want to convert this to a task. So, yeah. so this kind of thing we need. Uh, desperately and we will work on it um, but I cannot promise you when because Rafa will kill me and you don't want me dead so, so uh, I can promise that we, we are working on this but I mm -hmm. cannot promise when, when we will ship it <laughs> yes um, so yes so so it's it's definitely coming uh, anyway uh, big shout out to everyone who is already testing Nosby Teams in your team, if you use any different apps, like any different apps that you like apart from Nosby Teams, uh, uh, 
let us know. Like send email to questions at nosme.com and let us know. Like we need integration with this because we do this and this and this. Yeah. We really appreciate this kind of use cases. When you give us a use case, why you, integra- why you need integration because you use this other product, uh, we might really consider it and give it a shot because uh, it, like in the future, we want Nosby to be connected to other, you know, to other um, uh, apps to help you have your one source of truth in Nosby, to, in your tasks, you know, like, and, and to put stuff there as easily as possible. But uh, we need compelling use cases. Because then we can identify, you know, ourselves with this. this, this, this we can do, do proper research. Like in Slack, it's easy for us because we also use it. So, so like we know what we want. But with, for other products, you know, we need your feedback. I, I love you, Michael. You are the master of the art of not promising feature, but promise it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, should be, I should be a politician. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, but one of my customers told me that... Um, uh, uh, yesterday I was talking to one of the customers and he told me uh, that uh, I shouldn't be a politician because I actually walk the talk. So I actually do, I, I, I do what, I, uh, what I say and politicians don't do that. They just yeah. <laughs> say things. So I shouldn't. Oh, so the kids joined the meeting. <laughs> yeah, so my daughter just joined the meeting. Yes, so it's, I think it's time for us to slowly close it. Yeah, do we have any other questions, Kuba? Mm-hmm. All right, so <laughs> All right, so uh, my daughter is here. I should go down. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I'm Michael CEO and founder of Nosby. I'm Rafa, VP product of Nosby. And bye bye and see you and, uh, and join you in the next one. Ciao.